Hey guys, watch me transform this dull looking photo to this vibrant and beautifully edited image right here in Photoshop. Here was the before and here is the after. So this is the raw file we are going to be working on. And you can see that the image is looking very flat and the colors are not popping at all. So for the first step, you are going to use the auto pop action. Just click on the play button like this and voila this is what you get here was the before and here is the after now there's inconsistency in the colors the uh, image the model skin is rough to smooth that you're going to quickly use the auto fix fs action so just by clicking on the auto fix and you click on the play button like this voila this is the result you get you see here was the before the auto fix and here is the after see the before and the after the auto fix fx action is going to smooth the skin while retaining all the skin texture it smooths only the skin and makes your model skin to look more beautiful with just this two step of using the um, auto pop and the auto fix we've transformed this image and basically this is all you need for a simple editing but we can do furthermore keep watching because i'm going to show you how to advance this editing and make it look more amazing but you can see how fast this is this is just within seconds few seconds you transform your image from uh, looking flat and rough to looking this smooth and popped so for a more advanced look if you want to go for a high-end look you are going to go further to do that i'm going to duplicate this layer and now we are going to come to filter we're going to camera raw filter now here in the camera filter, we're going to grade the skin. So to do that, you can easily come to this icon right here. Click on the icon. And now you see the people uh, section right here. You see finding people in the photo. So uh, the camera is going to find the person in the photo, which is this person, person one. You click on it. And I allow it to load again. After loading, you can see, you see the entire person. You see the facial skin. We select the facial skin and we select the body skin. So after selecting these two um um adjustment the body skin and the facial skin you are going to cre create and it's going to create the uh maxing for us so every change we make is now going to affect only the skin of the model so the first thing we are going to do we are going to increase the brightness a little bit like this increase the contrast a little bit what you're trying to do you're trying to separate the color of the uh, outfit from that of the model skin to make it stand out so right now we're going to screw down here we'll take down the temperature of the model a little bit now all the adjustment and the grading we are doing is affecting only the model it's not affecting the uh, outfit or the background affecting only the model skin which has been maxed out automatically using this camera of futures i just showed you so we are going to increase the blacks like this and increase the contrast to add contrast to the skin uh, we are going to reduce the temperature and we are going to pop the white like this this is just like dodging and burning using a more smart way so we come back into this uh slider section where we can make overall changes to the uh, image we are going to reduce the overall black a little bit increase the contrast again see here was the before and here is the after here was the before and here is the after so now we are going to come back into photoshop like this now, all the changes we just made affected only the skin. So, you've learned how to max your skin and affect changes to it. The slider values you are going to move is just going to depend on the image you are working with. For those of you that struggle with how to translate editings like this, you watch your own image. You can check the link in the description where you get direct access to me. You send me your image and I make a dedicated tutorial to only you. That link will be in the description alongside with the link to get the auto fix effects so now to make changes to only the outfit this is what you are going to do you're going to duplicate this uh layer again uh let's rename this outfit or clothes to keep things organized and now you're going to take this quick selection tool select the hat select the clothes like this with the quick selection tool if you want to remove selection you hold alt see the uh, minus icon then you click like this to remove the selection now we have maxed the clothes so we are going to create a layer max 
by clicking on this icon down here we have created the layer marks now right click on this layer and convert this to smart object so see what we've created we have created a max only on the outfit so any changes we make is going to affect only the outfit so we are going to come back to filter camera roll filter now we have the clothes right here in the camera roll filter we can increase the temperature of the clothes a little bit like this increase the vibrance to add more colors to the outfit now we are going to reduce the blacks i'm going to now come to this um, section right here the color mixer we are going to come to the point color take this sample and sample the skin sorry take this uh, pen and sample the outfit like this you sample the color of the outfit now we can increase the saturation of the outfit to make it look more colorful you can also make adjustment to the hue you can change the hue to any color you want like this and you can also make adjustment to the luminance every adjustment you are making now is affecting only the outfit so the choices will depend on the image you are working on so once you've made these changes you're now going to click on ok to come back into photoshop see here was the before and here is the after so furthermore we can add lots skin tone lots to the uh, skin to change the color of the skin uh, so if you have any lots you just come and create a color lookup and now load 3d lots if you have lots on your pc uh, or your uh, your mac or your desktop you just go and select that lot and load it so right now i'm going to select from my lot specials so if click on the best skin tone lots and load it into photoshop these changes are now stylized changes it varies from image to image you can get my lot with the link in the description so we are going to reduce the opacity of this lot now you see that it's affecting all the image every aspect of the image will want it to affect only the skin so we are going to press ctrl i or command i if you are using a pc press ctrl i if you are using a mac press command i to uh, invert the layer marks so that you remove the effect now take your brush make sure the foreground is white and now paint on the skin to review the effect of these lots because we just want to color grade only the skin of this model with this lot so that's exactly what we are doing right now that's exactly what we're doing right now so once you're okay with the maxing take your time to do it you can see the before and the after you can reduce the opacity or increase it depending on the effect it's having on the image this one we're going to reduce it to plus 15 that is the opacity of 15 like this here's the before and here is the after we can still go on to further blur the background let me show you a quick trick a new method of blurring background that is super super amazing come to filter camera roll filter now you can now come down here you see this called you can see this called lens blur click on the apply lens blur and watch this load like this once it's finished loading it's going to apply lens blur to the background of this image so you see here was before applying the blow here's after applying the blow you can increase the amount of the blow you can change the blow bouquet check for each of these bouquet check them out see the one that works best for your image and apply that one you can boost the blow also like this see here was the before and here is the after all this tiny adjustment is adding more glamour more beauty to this amazing portrait now you can click on ok to come back into photoshop by now i'm very sure you must have learned a lot if you've watched to this point so why not smash the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips that will be coming your way subscribe to this channel right now and also smash the like button leave a fire emoji in the comments to boost my overall engagement on this video now finally we can liquefy some part of the model body to make it look more perfect so come to liquefy and now you can take the uh forward warp tool in the liquefy and maybe liquefy the arm make it look more slim like this so as easy as that and now if you look down here close to the armpit you see that this area is dark to fix that take your quick tool take your lasso tool and uh make a selection on the skin like this this area that you want to fix make a selection like this now 
start making a rough selection around the area come and create a selective color adjustment now you are going to adjust the colors of the red and you're going to adjust the color of the yellows until it matches with the color of the overall image now come to the layer marks and now feed that the layer marks uh, see the before and see the after it has removed this dark undertone and make it look more lighter you can further do that again with these selections you see this is how easy it is to do making adjustment to the yellows and the reds you can easily fix these issues under her armpits wow this is super handy and this tip is super helpful so you see the before see how dark under the armpit is see the after see how beautiful it's now looking see how beautiful it's now looking here was the before and here is the after you can go further to sharpen your image and to do that the best way to sharpen your image create a stamp visible now with Control shift alternate e you create a stamp visible if you're using a mark use command shift option e now come to filter come to sharpen smart sharpen and now you lose this you leave it at these values and now you click on ok it's going to apply the sharpening on your image like this so now your image is now looking superb everything is now looking fine and amazing so now you can see that here was the before and here is the after before after before after before after this is super amazing uh like if you haven't already happy to be part of your creative journey check the link in the description to get the auto fix fx the auto pop uh, you can get a one-on-one -on -one class with me with the link in the description we are a mentor for over two weeks we become a pro retoucher just send me a dm the link to do that is in the description uh leave your feedback in the comment section happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial